Hello and welcome to another reading from the book In Heavenly Places, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled The Christians All in All, February 28th. But Christ is all and in all. Colossians 3, 11. Christ, the precious Savior, is to be the Christians all in all. Every holy thought, every pure desire, every godlike purpose is from Him who is the light, the truth, and the way. Christ is to live in His representatives by the Spirit of Truth. Paul says, I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Galatians 2.20 Under the mighty impulse of his love, he took our place in the universe and invited the ruler of all things to treat him as a representative of the human family. He identified himself with our interests, barred his breast for the stroke of death, took man's guilt and penalty, and offered in man's behalf a complete sacrifice to God. By virtue of his atonement, he has power to offer to man perfect righteousness and full salvation. Jesus identifies his interest with his chosen and tried people. He represents himself as personally affected with all that concerns them. After presenting his relation to his people in various lights, he finally declares that in the great day he will judge every action as if it had been done unto himself. His sympathy with his people is without a parallel. He will not simply remain a spectator, indifferent to what his people may suffer, but identifies himself with their interests and sorrows. If his people are wronged, maligned, treated with contempt, their sufferings are registered in the books of heaven as done unto him. The privileges, the blessings of the child of God are represented by the apostle in the following language. To whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Colossians 1 27. When we realize that our hope of glory is Christ, that we are complete in Him, we shall rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Thank you for listening today. Be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book In Heavenly Places. God bless you.